Okay, right now we have some guys that they want to learn how to box, but they say, you know, they, they're afraid that they don't know how to box because they can't stand the right way or whatever. A lot of intimidation goes on when you go into a boxing gym. You see all the guys looking at you, staring you down, and thinking what this guy has or what this guy has under his belt, and some people don't have nothing at all. So don't get intimidated. Don't be scared. Somebody had to teach you, and you had to learn from someplace, somewhere. So I have my friend right here. Um, what's your name? Wayne. Wayne, get over here, Wayne. How you doing? How old are you, Wayne? 14. Okay, Wayne is 14. He's got a nice reach, nice, nice arm here. He's pretty tall. He's a, a young, young fellow, 14 years old, and look how tall he is. Well, how are you? 5'8"? 5'10". 5'10". Great boxer if he puts his uh, heart into it. Boxing is about the heart and the training. If you do that, you're going to be a great, a great champ one day. You believe that, Wayne? Yeah. But not only a champ, you, you know, not only talking about trying to get a championship belt, but a champ of, of your own, for your own self. To have your own uh, self-esteem, know what you're doing, feel good, nobody can jump you in school. You know what I'm trying to say, Wayne? Yeah. Uh, have you had a bad experience? I heard uh, not so long ago with some kids trying to jump you. Yeah. What, tell me what happened. Um, I was walking down the county park about in April and I was putting in an application for the pool and they jumped into the lease on Did they take anything from you? They took my cell phone, but I got that down. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why you want to get into boxing, just to feel like you can yeah. defend yourself? Okay, Wayne. Well, the first thing I'm going to ask you, what hand you write with? My right. Okay, so you're right with that right hand, you're right. So you will actually put, okay, look at look at me. I'm going to spread my shoulders, my legs to my shoulders. Keep your feet under your shoulders, basically, okay? Then left leg, you throw it forward, and then you throw a little step back on your right leg, okay? Now your back leg, you're gonna try to pivot, okay? Now, and you try to bend your knees a little bit, okay? Now when you lift up your hands, I tell the kids to lift up their hands like if they're covering your face. So go like this right now, Wayne, okay? Now move to the side a little bit. Towards, towards your left, yep, that way. Now, now you, what you do now is close your hands. Okay, now you keep that hand there, and you keep that hand there. Now Wayne, throw that hand to me as you throw the jab. Now you see all well, this, this is a nice hand right here, see? You probably can reach me before I reach you, because you have nice reach. Now, when you throw your arm right there, Wayne, what's gonna happen? You're opening up yourself, right? So maybe you might throw it to me, and I could dip down and hit you right there, right? So you gotta bring it back. As soon as you throw it, you bring it back towards your face, okay? Don't bring it back down, or don't bring it nowhere else. You bring it right back to your face. You gotta throw that arm again, Wayne. Good. Now, what I'm seeing right here, Wayne, is that you're gonna, the first contact is gonna be this part of your hand, fingers right here. I don't want that. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do. Okay, I got four steps to close your hand. One, two, three, and four. Okay? One, two, three, and four, okay, again. One, two, three, thumb, and four. Just a little bit move of that movement of the wrist. That way when you throw the punch, what's gonna hit you first, Wayne? Knuckles. Now, the knuckles that I want to make the first contact are the first two knuckles, why? They are bigger. These knuckles are here are more, more delicate, if I would say, the bones are more, more, more thin and they could cause more problems if you hurt your knuckles. So always try to make a first contact with your first two knuckles, which are the strongest one, and always throw it that way, see? Right there, I'm gonna hit you right there with them knuckles. Right, Wayne? So let's try that again, Wayne. Throw me a jab. See, a lot better, okay? Very good, now bring that arm back. Good, now you have a little opening right here, so you might wanna try to close it there a little bit. Now throw that arm again, Wayne, jab, okay. Right there, Wayne, if, if I have happened to dip and I want to give you one of those, I could tag you with a hook, okay? So, what I'm going to recommend is you to lift up your shoulder just a little bit, yes. Now, if I want to hit you, I can't hit you. Now, as soon as I try to hit you, then you block me, and then I'm going to try to hit you here, and you block me, okay? Now, let's try that again, Wayne. Boom. Boom. You see that? You got to put that speed into it. One more time, Wayne. Boom. And boom, okay? Now, that's a good way of uh, blocking yourself. I would say you block your, your, your chin with your shoulder, okay? Keep that shoulder up there. You block your face with your hand, okay? And you block your rib section with your elbow. So you try to sink in your belly. And you sink in your belly a little bit, and you, and you bring down your, your chin. 
Yeah, like you just want like that. But you're always looking at your opponent. And then you just throw it. That's the only that's the first step of boxing. Your left jab. Why? Because this arm is weak, isn't it, Wayne? That's your weak arm. So once you get that weak arm developed and pick up that power, always practice on on a mirror, looking at yourself, making sure that you're throwing the proper way at your eyes length, you're throwing right to your eyes, you're covering yourself, and you're bringing it back. See the mirror? Bring it right back, okay? You're covering yourself. Now, I don't want you to get into a habit of trying to be fast, like a lot of kids come in, oh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna do this fast. And then this is what happens to the kids. They go like this, their right arm goes down, you see? They're all right, and then they bring it back because they went too fast. Once you bring that right arm down, you're open, okay? Look at me again, some kids do this. They bring the arm down, no. Keep that arm there touching your face. Then throw that hand, okay? Bring it back quick, okay? You try real, you, you practice and train real slow. Real slow, and then little by little, you're gonna pick up the speed and get better at it, okay? Well, thank you very much, Wayne. Now, I'm gonna have one of your other friends that came here with us today, what, what's his name? Joey. Joey, get over here, Joey. How old are you, Joey? And you, you, you wanna practice, you wanna learn boxing? Yep. Why is that reason why you wanna learn? Because I wanna protect myself. Yeah, schools are rough nowadays. Everybody, like, especially from buoys, right? We got buoys everywhere. Everybody thinks that they can buoy us around. And the thing about boxing, once you feel like, I protect myself, you know, ain't nobody gonna mess with me because I'm gonna do one of these. Right, Joey? Okay, Joey, what hand you right with? That, that hand, same thing. You're gonna put your feet. Yeah, there you go. And then that one right there, you're gonna put your, your you're, gonna, you're gonna put it on your tip right here. Okay, one thing I'm going to show you that I didn't show uh, your friend here, um, Wayne, is how to bounce, okay? If you keep the, the tip of your toes on the back, you keep your knees bent, you're going to start bouncing. Go ahead, bounce it for me. There you go. Why are you going to do that? That way your head starts moving. There you go, your head starts moving. So, so if you find somebody now throwing you punches, this guy's head is moving, so i got to figure him out. It's going to be more difficult for me. Now, if you protect yourself the same way, push that in, yeah, protect yourself the same way, you keep moving around. Let's say if I throw a jab at you, all you have to do is bend your knees down. See? Let's try that again. Here goes the jab. There you go. You keep watching where that jab is coming. There you go. See that, Joey? Well, that's one way of defense. How to get rid of those uh, punches coming towards your way. You're not blocking them, but you're letting them slide by you. Okay? You just move side to side. Now try moving side to side, Joey. There you go. See? See? There you go, Joey. There you go. And you always keep your hands up there, okay? There you go. Now when, you, when that shot does miss you, and you go back, there you go, okay? Now throw, throw that hand at me. I'm gonna go back, and then I'm gonna bounce back to you, okay? So thank you very much, Joey, for uh, being with us. This is Arroyo Boxeo. My friend Joey, come here, um, and my other friend, uh, Wayne and these guys are starting out this week and uh, we'll show some more videos as they progress in the sport of boxing and they're gonna have fun. You guys ready to sweat? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm gonna see how that came out.